growing an audience very hard. Monetizing your podcast, the chance of that are even slimmer. Before you start your podcast, there is one crucial question that we gotta answer. Why do you want to start a podcast? You may be aware of a guy called Simon Sinek. He wrote this book, Start With Why, and then he had some like super popular talks online. Essentially, his idea is that the most prosperous businesses start their business with why they do things. Not how, not what, but why. So there's a problem, they want to solve it, why they want to solve it. I think it's interesting if we take it and then apply it to podcasting and then we can see if we can come up with some interesting answers. Making podcasts is difficult, it's hard. You know, there is research, writing, recording, editing, post-production, release, artwork, marketing, interviewing people. There's all these things and they're incredibly difficult to balance in the air all the time it'd be good to have a reason to start all of that because it sounds hard. The first why could be, well, you think you're an interesting person. Do you want to have interesting conversations with other interesting people? Will the listeners think the same? Will they come and stay? Well, I don't know, but you can do it anyway. There's no one stopping you. That's the beauty of it. Do it as a hobby, just start. The second one, you want to get into media. You want to learn how to create a piece of media. You want to build your portfolio, you want to do something. Podcasting is relatively low-cost venture. There is some cost involved, but it is relatively low. Even with that cost, you know, I always say it's a good investment if you're investing in yourself. Another one, you want to expand and grow your existing business. Let's say you have some consulting that you do or you provide services and a podcast is there to not only make connections but also establish yourself as an authority in that field, in that industry and by that extension grow your clan. In my view that's a great, great uh, reason to start a podcast because First of all, you're not worried about hitting hundreds of thousands of listeners. You know, you just want to have your target audience listening to your show. Two is that you don't worry about the monetization, the ads, the sponsors, the affiliates, because the podcast is only a means to an end, in the end being growing your primary business. Businesses do that. A lot of people do that with a great success. P.S. We are, of course, talking about creating a good show about something that you're passionate about, not some like, soulless corporate podcast. Another good reason is that you want to get the stories out of there. And podcasting as a medium is a perfect for that because there's no restrictions. It can be short form, long form. It's not like mainstream media when, you know, you've got something and it just gets a headline or a five minute feature on the news and they move on to the next drama or a next thing. With podcasting, you can dive deep into a subject. You can show people that there are layers to everything, that there are stories behind what is happening, that nothing is black and white. Podcasting allows you to do that. It allows you to tell stories that maybe you couldn't tell before. Do you find this video helpful? Well, hit subscribe and you can become a better audio producer, just like me. And the last one, um, well, let's say you want to make it big. You want to be the next big Joe, well, you know who, and a big podcaster, true crime phenomenon. You know, you want to have the money, the cars, the fame. It's gonna take a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of work, money, and a lot of luck. It's a good reason as, uh, as any, I guess, but I think it's a one that can make the whole thing frustrating if that's your sort of motivation to start a podcast. That was just a bit of fun. You don't actually need a reason to do anything. You can just start it and just do it. Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. I believe in randomness of the universe, that things just happen and a podcast can be one of these things. No reason at all. But like we said before, you know, podcasting it's hard. It's a lonely process. There is a lot of grind when we talk about the recording process, the post-production, the release and all these elements. And I find that having a good reason behind all of that will help you. Stay on track, 
when you feel down, when you feel overwhelmed, you can always go back and remind yourself, right, I'm doing this because it will definitely help you on your way. Most of what I do are just habits, you know, wake up, eat, drink coffee, walk a dog, do a bit of work. And I understand that these are habits, this is my schedule, but uh, it's good practice and I do it from time to time. I stop and I think, why do I do it? Why I started doing it in the first place? What if I've stopped? I think that we get so busy sometimes with doing stuff and there's another deadline, another project, you know, another day. We forget about why we started, you know, this whole journey, this whole run in the first place. So we end on a little bit of reflective, philosophical note, I guess. But um, I hope it's helpful, especially if you want to take on podcasting. It's also helpful in life in general, I guess. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the next one. And we'll see you soon.